Let's look at using a Google folder as a portfolio for our students to share and collect digital evidence of their learning. We can easily connect this in multiple areas of our Catholic graduate expectations, using those portfolio for opportunities for reflection, communication, collaborating, and communicating with our family members. We're going to use the platform of Google Apps for Education, which is different than a personal Google account, so you will need to use your board account. You all have board accounts. You can simply go to google.com and then choose Sign In in the top right-hand corner. Upon Sign In, you're going to enter your credentials, your employee number at educ.dpcdsb.org, or for students, their student number. And for the password, it will be your uniform board issued password that you use for email and board devices. Once you've successfully logged in, you're looking for the waffle icon beside the sign in page that will open up a sub menu and then you will click on the Google Drive icon, which is your storage area. Once in that Google area, what we're going to be doing is creating a folder for each child in your class which you will have the ability to upload files into and will be able to share a link to parents to be able to view any files in these folders. You as a classroom teacher can decide if you want to put student evidence, whether it's photographs, videos, or any digital pieces they may have created on the iPads, Chromebooks, or other board devices. You also can upload newsletters, calendars, and anything else you'd like to share with those family members. What we're going to do is we're going to go take a look at how to create those folders. So again, once you're logged in, I have created folders already, but yours here will be open. So you might start by creating a folder for your class and you simply select new, select folder, and you will title the folder whatever you'd like appropriate. Once you're inside that folder, you're going to go ahead and repeat that process for all the students, naming the folder by their name or student ID, whatever you use. So again, it's just new folders. So once you have all those folders set up, and because you are sitting, setting them up in your teacher account, you will have access to upload those. So if you're using iPads, you can easily airdrop pieces back and forth to iPad. And then when you choose to upload them, you can select the folder you'd like to put them in. What I'd like you to do, show you is how we created a share link to share with uh, parents. So the first thing I did is I went to new Google Docs and I created a template that I'm going to put all of these into. What I used was an Avery template for labels that I happen to have. You can simply Google that. You can Google the type of label you have, the number, and Google Docs and you will find a template. I will also provide for you a link. If you go ahead and copy this link down and you type it into a web browser, it's going to open up the particular labels that I've used today and you can go ahead and say file copy and make your own copy and go ahead and use this particular layout if that's the labels you happen to have. What we did is we went ahead and we are going to put the student names on these labels and then we're going to generate a link to go on the label. The idea is that this label could easily be put into the student's agenda and we're going to make that a link nice and short so parents can go ahead and type it in. Once they type that link in, they'll be prompted to the student login page. And once they go to the student login page, they're going to enter those credentials. When they enter the credentials, all they're going to see is whatever is in that folder. So if I enter in that for this particular student, whatever I've uploaded in here will be here as a view only, which means parents can't adjust it or delete it or do anything to it. All they can do is view it. So, to create those share links, I'm going to come back out. You'll notice that you've created a link when there is a little icon on the folder. So you can see I've done that for a few. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click onto the folder I want to create the share link for and say get shareable link. And I'm going to turn it on by simply clicking until it turns green. It's already set up as a viewable link, which means they can't edit. And I'm going to go ahead and click on share settings and then I'm going to go ahead and right click and say copy. As it sits it's a very long link so to shorten that up 
I'm going to go to a, a website called GOOD.GL, which is a Google URL. In the shortener, all you have to simply do is paste the link and say shorten. And right away, it's going to shorten that link for you. I simply say copy. And then I come back to my page and I go ahead and I paste that in. And then I go ahead and enter their name and their information. The great thing is, once I have that, again, I can just print that off, put it into their agendas, and parents can go ahead and just type that into to any web browser and enter their credentials. Again, a really quick to create a simplified portfolio for sharing digital work.